All right, what's up guys? This is the Going Russia and I'm in St. Petersburg and today we're gonna be celebrating the Unity Day and I'm gonna be filming just the ordinary life here in St. Petersburg and show you the Unity Day daily life here in St. Petersburg. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm eager in Russia and I'm a foreigner here in Russia, loving this place, I'm loving St. Petersburg and uh, showing you the real world through my eyes. Let's go. All right, so a little bit background about this uh, event, this uh, holiday here in Russia. Initially, initially this was celebrated in the Soviet Union in between 1917 and 1991. It was then stopped from being a holiday and stopped from being celebrated and continued on only in 2005 by uh, started by Vladimir Putin. So this is currently one of the uh, youngest holidays in Russia and returned only in 2005. Uh, the reasoning, the reasons why this is celebrated has changed though from the original intent. It was also actually uh, a holiday, sort of a holiday I guess, during the Russian Empire era, during the Tsar's era. In Soviet times it was celebrated more like, uh, you know, more Soviet accomplishments and now it has returned but also with a new twist. The, the holiday was uh, restarted in 2005 but it gained its new uh, backstory, not the backstory but the reason to be celebrated just recently. So this day celebrates the liberation of the Moscow uh, from Polish invaders in 1612. That day is also the feast day of the Russian Orthodox icon of our of Our Lady of Kazan and in behind me is actually Kazan Cathedral so this is why a lot of religious people like myself are going to uh, to the cathedral. In 2007 uh, it wasn't that much popular a day because only 23 percent knew the name of the holiday and uh, surely I believe in 2022 it has gained a lot more popularity but it's not like big events uh, even now it's just uh, just a couple of days of holiday it's, uh, the holidays are celebrated as a free time during between the fourth and sixth which is actually just three days uh, three days and in, uh, this year it's uh, Friday Saturday and Sunday but unlike in the Europe the uh, Saturdays and Sundays are not that common of uh, uh, days off in Russia people work here all the time and in my view, not, not for uh, enough of money. They should get more money for that, a lot of work and that, that huge days of work, you know. But let's get that into that with, uh, in another video. The city of St. Petersburg recommends uh, the, uh, the citizens, the St. Petersburgians, to enjoy these days with your families in the parks or going to a museum. And I'm celebrating this day by a walk, taking a walk in St. Petersburg and uh, Nevsky, not park, but maybe I will end up in a park. So we're going to be checking out in this video is Russia, how, how united is Russia and Russians. And uh, let's think about that. Alright, I guess we can get it get it done and continue continue on. So how how united is Russian? Russia. <laughs> so uh let's take a walk. Hold up. Let's take a walk here in St. Petersburg and think about how united is Russia during this to do uh, now at 2022. So, uh, this place is uh, Russia, of course, has a lot of minority groups, much more than people can imagine. There's 150. And uh, there can be uh, a lots of a lot of opinions about St. Petersburg. Uh, sorry, Russia and its unity, because 
people, I think, people who wish that Russia wouldn't be no longer easy, more easy, easier say that uh, uh, Russia is not united at all and uh, small minority groups, uh, minority groups are uh, just waiting to get out of Russia and this is what uh, a lot of been, people been speculating with the news, Western media has been speculating with the current news and uh, let's film a little bit forward because a lot of people just going on the walk in Nevsky and uh, so uh, I, and I'm not a the best per specialist about the minority groups but personally I don't feel that way I feel pretty comfortable check this out by the way I feel pretty comfortable about Russia being strong and uh, keeping its own uh, this is in a courtyard ah it's a church place all right and uh, check this out so uh, and that's actually one of the reasons why Putin and the Russian government is so strict strict to act on demonstrations and that type of stuff not there's a huge need for them I believe from my personal view but uh, I think people uh, most of the people are feeling pretty united I think also that in, the, in Russian patriotism a lot more could be done compared to let's say some countries in the West in the Europe it's like uh, being really uh, being really uh, let's say <laughs> absurdly patriotic not too much but let's say being a bit overly patriotic it's fine and it's actually maybe even uh, looked up on but uh, for example in Russia if you beat overly overly patriotic uh, people are thinking about you a, a little bit weird depends of course how you present yourself but I'm talking about like you know people walking with Z's and V's this is the current stuff but if you walk but uh, it's been getting more and more popular to be patriotic at the same time during the Putin's era I know that people are feeling more proud of their country and I think that's totally fine and that's the way it should be anyways the country has a great history and, not a, and every country had its, has its dark, dark times every country, seriously so here on the left we can see uh, we can see uh, what is this? This is the palace of uh, Stroganov Palace. Check this video out where I actually check this whole place out. We're gonna walk down to Moika actually now. That's what we're gonna do and uh, continue our discussion. So yeah, this is what my that's what I think about. Uh, but is the rush is Russia so united? Uh, I think there's. I think there's a lot to be done because uh, a lot of people are fine, are okay with Russia and just thinking about surviving day to day. You know. But I'm not sure that a lot of minority groups feel that strongly of being Russian. But I also have noticed that that actually, even though most popular version on the West, in the West, is that uh, people are being uh, 
people, uh, minority, culture of minorities is being pulled down and taken out of, you know, uh, I'd say that. Uh, so yeah, while waiting for the coffee, I don't think that uh, a lot of Russians, minority groups feel strongly being Russian, but uh, I don't think they have a huge like anti-Russian uh, movement as, as many might think. Um, спасибо. Let's warm up a little bit. So that's my opinion. And uh, but I think there's a a lot more like positive vibes towards uh, the Russian, uh, what do you say, cultural and uh, Russianism. A lot more positivity could be gained and pro like provided because. Uh, because of Russian history, it's really, really like uh, strong, meaning that uh, the way to process Russian, you know, Russianhood, or what do you call that, is through like military might and uh, expansion, that type of stuff. And I think besides that, a lot more uh, stuff would be brought to the mainstream to, for Russians. And uh, I just hope the best for Russians and also to everybody, you know. Cheers to that. Coffee Warren has excellent coffee. Excellent. And it's cheap. Thanks for watching this video. This is Egan Russia. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in any other videos when I return and show you this amazing city and amazing country. Peace out.